Hello YouTube, I am Shawnee2003 and we are looking at my first newly purchased persimmon tree. I bought this persimmon when I was in Georgia and it didn't have any leaves yet. What is that? What is that bug? I don't know what that is. I have to Google and see if that's friend or foe. But anywho, once it start leaping out, it started growing flower pods. Well, guess what? Look at this. They're open, guys. Y'all see that? This is my first time ever growing up a persimmon tree. First time ever seeing the little flowers on it. I think this is so cool. Now, this persimmon tree is supposed to be self-fertile, meaning I do not need another persimmon tree to fertilize it, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, I have never tasted a persimmon before, ever. So, I'm anxious to see how it tastes. And to be growing it at home is cool. Cool. I hope that little net getting there and pollinated. These flowers are weird and cool at the same time. Let's see what other flowers are open. It's not loaded with flowers, but for its first time fruiting for me, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I have this other tree right here beside it. I don't want to be too rough. Look at that one down there. That one is open. Mm, yeah, a few flowers. It's getting ready. How that one look? Is it open yet? So y'all can see the different stages of the flowers when they first grow out. They drop down like that. And listen, I am so tempted to go get me a few persimmon. Because I keep seeing everyone talk about that one persimmon. My persimmon I have is a Tananachi. I think that's what it is. It was the first persimmon tree I ever saw for sale somewhere. So I grabbed it. Everyone's always talking about persimmons and how good they are. So I'm trying to find out. Homegrown. Let's see. Because I know I'm messing this name up. Uh, there we go. Tananashi. I don't know, but y'all see the name. That's what it is. Yes, the tag is still on it. I said, just in case it doesn't make it, I'm taking it back to the big box store and get my money back. And yes, I do still have my receipt because I have a one-year warranty on these things. That's a good thing about buying from the big box store. They're local. You have a one-year warranty. Also, fun facts about persimmon. They only flower on new wood. So, these long branches is pitting off here. I'm going to cut them. Once it go dormant, I'm going to cut it down. So, you see there where that wood is at? Yep. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to let it re-row all over again just like this. I am not putting it in the ground only because... I am not in my forever home. I am currently renting. So, she will stay in the pack. Currently, she's in the one that she came in. I want to say it's probably a three gallon. So, she's going to stay in there this year. And when she go dormant, I'm going to upgrade her. I got a big girl for her. Go ahead and upgrade her. I was thinking about a five gallon bucket. But... I don't know i might put her on something bigger i have to do my research and see you know how big can i go up from a three gallon will it mess anything up or you know some plants don't like too much space they like their roots nice and tight so i'm gonna figure it out but i have plenty of time do my research i think them leaves there are getting burnt from the sun. North Carolina getting a little hot out here already. I am going to feed her some chicken manure too. 
she was getting some chicken manure. I cleaned out my chicken area. Everything is gonna get some chicken manure. That will be my fertilizer. Some nice, good old compost. Well, thank you guys for watching. I am Shawnee2003. Please like, comment, hit them thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, watch me grow my beautiful fruit trees for the first time in 7B, North Carolina, newly 8A as they claim. We shall see. But thank you. Bye.